World of Warcraft Hardcore has been popping off lately and I have been absolutely loving it. Think of it like a hardcore Iron Man in RuneScape. Once you die, your character is done and you can't get help from any other players. If you're solo, you cannot trade, you cannot ask anyone else for help, and you have to do everything and get everything by yourself. With it being vanilla WoW, not only is that hard enough, but I'm going to be doing this with absolutely no armor or clothes on. So, welcome to the journey. Let's see how far our naked boy can get in this extra hardcore challenge. This is definitely the face of someone who uh, has no idea what they're getting into. Hardcore vanilla is not hard enough. Let's let's do it naked. Oh man! All right, let's get this started. So I'm pretty familiar with the. Uh, with the Gnome Dwarf starting area. I've mostly been playing Gnome Dwarf. Uh, I have a dead dwarf, a level 9 dead priest dwarf. And I have a level 19 rogue uh, gnome named Plimbo. I'm not a huge vanilla nerd. I, I basically just raid log for Wrath at this point. But uh, I've been really smoking that uh, that hardcore Adderall, you know? it's 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 a lot of fun. It's definitely the type of thing I love to get into. Like, I love the idea of starting with nothing and having just building up your your character, building up yourself from basically nothing. I don't like doing that in real life, but in vi in video games, I love that stuff. Survival games and stuff like that. Starting off with nothing and then seeing what you've grown with over time is really nice to me. Look at that. We cannot put that on. I'm so tempted to just press right click. Probably my mouse cursor. <laughs> I'm so tempted to just press. I need to sell all this stuff before I accidentally equip it. I'm gonna somehow accidentally equip something. I know I am. I'm gonna get to like level 59 and accidentally equip like a level one pair of boots just for no reason. It wouldn't even be on purpose. It wouldn't even be for content. It's just it would just be because I'm stupid. <laughs> but the reason I uh I decided to get into this is I I was in a mine. Over in, hold on. I was in a mine over in uh, Loch Modan. I think it was like over here somewhere, over here. I think it was the little, uh, the little rat boys. I think it was for the rat quest. Getting their ears or whatever. I'm not sure if it was over there or like somewhere nearby. Anyway, I saw this dwarf. I'm pretty sure it was the warrior. Just naked. Just running around, helping people. Like, no one was asking for help. That place is super dangerous because of mobs. The mobs kind of hyper spawn, which hyper spawning is like they just respawn constantly really fast. And those mobs, the mobs in that cave specifically, like were aggro. So like if you get near them and you're anywhere close to the level, they will aggro on you and you'll probably die with how fast they respawn and how quick they aggro, how far away they aggro. I almost died in there a couple times myself. Actually, I believe it was um, up here somewhere. There's a quest to get like miner supplies. It's a level 15 quest. And I was just running through there. I was playing solo on my my gnome rogue. I almost died in there a few times. But there was this dwarf. Naked dwarf. I forget what his name was. I don't know. He was a he was a fucking chad though. Like he was running around. He was ta he was helping people kill mobs that were in a precarious situation. Just hitting them. Just helping them kill them. And he doesn't get anything for it. Nobody asked for help. He doesn't get XP. He just was being cool as fuck. So that kind of inspired me to do this because that's probably the coolest thing I've seen. This mode is already incredibly hard as it is, if, as you can see from this death log. I haven't been on for too long, but all these deaths. I've been on for like how long? Seven minutes, eight minutes. Look how many people have died. Yeah, honestly, my goal is to just see how far I can get. Do I think I'm going to level 60? Probably not, but hey, you never know, man. The only warrior I've played in the past 10 plus years was a warrior named... Jimbo, and he died at level seven <laughs> in Elwood Forest. <laughs> so this starting area, I'm not too worried about because nothing here is aggressive. I think I'm pretty sure those trogs over there. Oh no, there's trolls over here that are aggressive. We have to watch out for the trolls. And there's our first ability, Thunder Shout, Battle Shout. See, I don't even, <laughs> I don't even know what my abilities are, man. I would love for you guys to guess what level you think I'm going to get. If you say level 5, 
If you say like level 5, level, level 10, I, I won't be upset. I won't be offended. My first warrior was level 7 and died, and I was like, I, you know, armored up. But I think I think you get a, I think you get a uh, an attack power bonus if you don't have any armor. I'm pretty sure. So I'm sure we'll be okay. How are you? I'm curious how many people go for this challenge. How many other naked brothers and sisters and body type ones and body type twos are running around? But I th I've I've only seen like a couple. I've seen that dwarf I mentioned. That naked dwarf warrior. I've seen a naked human mage. I think that's about it. That I recall anyway. I wish there was a way for me to disable putting on gear. Because I'm just I'm so tempted. Everything is telling me put to, just to put this stuff on. Like this literally doubles my armor. <laughs> Don't human warriors start with a sword and shield? I'm almost certain they do. Alright, let's tag our first uh, red mob. Aggressive mob. I'm sure we'll be okay okay in this zone. Oh, sorry, in this zone? Uh, I don't know about out here. That's going to be something else. It's just dropping me every piece of gear I can need. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's really trying to get me. It's really trying to get me to put some stuff on, some, put some clothes on. It's not going to happen. We're staying naked. That's one really nice thing about the hardcore community is, like, people just help each other a lot. Like, there are some people... There, there may be groups of people that will just watch you, this, you know, face tank hogger and die, or princess or any other like, you know, named mob. They'll just watch you tag it and like, and die. They won't help you. But there's a lot of people that'll help you. One of the rules is that you can't ask for help, but a lot of people just do it, you know, out of the kindness of their their hearts, because they know what it's like to to lose a character, to die, and go again. Level four, nice. Basically, when picking quest rewards, I'm like, if it's not a, if it's not a weapon, if it's not a consumable. How much can I sell it for? You, anyone else play with the, uh, with footstep sounds on? A bit much, aren't they? You got my attention. Look at this guy already has a shield and an axe. That's crazy. A naked baby. man. Take those clothes off. <laughs> I probably should tell people to take their clothes off on uh <laughs> That's uh, probably a no-no. Oh, I, I failed a quest. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, a lot of people die in caves. So if I get if I get caught here by like two mobs, three mobs, I'm I'm practically dead. I have no no, no escape maneuvers. Um, nothing to get away. No bags yet. This run may be cursed. No weapons, no bags. All we're getting are clothes, man. We've got so many clothes. I guess we're living up to the name. Bass Pro Hat. Women fear me. Fish love me. I have a friend that has one of those hats. Those like really, really tall hats. I forget what the fish meme is. I think it's just like an essay. This shit posting fish. <laughs> fish meme. All right, let's not fail this quest this time. <laughs> Already failing quests at level four. Impressive. Ooh. Now we have a one-hander, and we can use a shield. So this is one of those quests that I usually skip because um, there's always a bunch of people there, and it's a pretty decently long respawn timer. So that's one of the things in hardcore as well. Unless you're really patient or you know good at making macros or just good at the game in general, you're probably going to be wanting to skip a lot of quests like this one. Funneling to that quest, trying to do it. We don't care about any of these. Equipped. Oh, it's Meat Man. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got so scared. <laughs> Meat Man still has the snow boots on. He died at level level nine. It's like, what do you mean equipped? But yeah, you can use shields. They're not armor. They are uh, considered a weapon. So this all we can really use is a a weapon and a shield, or just a weapon. 
That's 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 literally it. All these other slots, nothing. And rims, nice. I'm excited to run into my first naked boy. I'm excited to see another one in the wild. Gotta take all the loot we can get. Oh wow, thank you for the two intellects. <laughs> that's that's gonna be really helpful. <laughs> that's huge. The biggest thing we'll probably get in the next five hours. Nice. All right, let's see if we can go do this quest real quick. Let's see if there's a line. I was just in there, but I didn't really look. I don't think I saw any. No, I didn't even get that far in. There's probably at least, if I were to guess, uh, at least five people. Oh, well. Thank you again. <laughs> Gilf Mig. That sounds dirty. Oh, look, there's our first death that we've seen. Oh, well, there is no line. I'm pretty sure he spawns down there. Like right here, where this person, exactly where this person's dead. I expected a line, but I guess the line's dead. <laughs> and one of the really cool things about this, uh, this app, or sorry, this mod, is you can look at the deaths in your zones so you can see where everyone has died. It's really neat. A big thing that happens in these type of waiting spots is a uh, horde will come here, like rogues specifically. They'll just be vanished, and they'll hope that you attack them so they can kill you and grief you. Um, that's a good reason you shouldn't just smash like T like that. That'll get you. Uh, that'll get you flagged and murdered real quick. Our first chest. Huge, a cloak. <laughs> oh, we got it! Wow. This will be my first time doing this quest. My heart is actually beating so fast. <laughs> wow. That was exciting. That was really exciting. <laughs> I was a little scared. I didn't know how strong you would be. <laughs> oh, boy. Big shield? Nope. Small shield. Cool. I got to calm down a bit. That was... That was... Whew, I don't know why that was so, like, thrilling for me. Like... <laughs> my chest is a bit heavy. That was, that was exciting. That was, uh, was kind of scary. Hardcore is very scary, but it's also chill. It's like super anxiety inducing, but it's also like one of the chillest things I've done lately. It's it's weird. Because you can die at literally any second, but it's just a slow chill experience until that happens. All, all I'm getting is armor. This is insane. I don't think I got this much armor any other characters I played. Like I mostly just got like trash drops, you know, junk items to sell. Huge shield. Huge shield. I probably should have come up with a better name. Wanting WTS clothes. Wanting to sell clothes isn't exactly raw off the tongue. But uh, honestly, we've we've committed already. It's too late to reroll. We put almost an hour. <laughs> we put almost an hour in. It's too late. I'm not going to be using uh, what's it called? What's it called? Rested XP. Cause I don't know. I feel like vanilla well is something. I don't have a lot of knowledge in, I don't have a lot of experience in, so it's nice to just, you know, see it with fresh eyes and just come up with my own strategies and explore and, you know, not be guided, not be handheld through the whole thing. Like, the experience is still really hard with it. Like, everyone still dies with it. I don't know. Maybe when I get higher level and things are getting a little crazy, a little spicy, I might get it, but for now, I just, I like to knowledge check myself, you know? And so far, I have a pretty decent strat as to what I'm going to do. So basically, like, I'm going to be jumping back between here, Dunmoreau, and uh, Elwyn Forest. And then between Loch Modan and Westfall. Uh, Loch Modan is less populated than Westfall. Because, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to do quests sometimes. With all the people running around. And sometimes uh, mobs spawn real slow. But my strategy is basically just to jump back and forth in between them. Since I'm going to be skipping some quests that I can't do due to too many people. And I'm going to just pick up as many quests as I can that'll give me XP and go from there. WTS close is really gonna be a man of the world. But aside from that, I'm we ha we have to go herbalism alchemy. Like there's no point in going blacksmithing except for like weapons, but we can just farm those or find those. We can't equip armor, so there's no point. Uh engineering mining could be a play, but honestly I think there's gonna be more utility in potions. Probably going herbalism alchemy 
And if you're ever curious what, what uh, professions to do and you're playing, you know, vanilla hardcore, two of the best options are mining engineering because they have bombs and they have target dummies, which aggro mobs. So a lot of ways to escape or give you give yourself some breathing air, some breathing room. Or herbalism alchemy because you can't buy potions or you can't trade for potions. You can buy potions from vendors, but they're kind of hard to get. Because a lot of them are just limited in stock from like specific traveling merchants and stuff. But if you can make your own, then it doesn't it doesn't matter. Like you can just stock up on your own. Potions are incredibly important, especially healing potions. Cooking's also big. First aid's also huge. How much money do I have? Not much. We should invest into first aid right now. If we can get through this zone, I think I think we'll do pretty well. Oh shoot, we should learn herbalism like right now as well. We need to get as many herbs as we can, as quick as we can. I don't want to pass any herbs and be like, shoot, I should have got herbalism. Shoot, I should have got herbalism. One thing I like to do, this is kind of like my min-maxi brain. Like, I'm not a huge min-maxi person, but what I like to do starting out is I like to pick my main gathering profession, whether it be mining or herbalism for, you know, engineering or alchemy, and then skinning. Because, you know, there's dozens and dozens of people running around killing mobs, and a lot of these starting zones, especially Don Moreau, and uh, the pick farms in Owen Forest. There's a lot of just mobs just waiting there to be skinned. That's free money. But honestly, I don't really need a crazy amount of money. Especially considering, like, I mean, it's not like we're going going clothes shopping anytime soon, you know? But the, the difference between having skinning and not having skinning, nice. We dinged when we got to Iron Forge. That's sick. Listen to this music. This is... It's like I'm teleported back in time. Can I help you? Apparently not. Here we go. Ten silver. Great thing about herbalism is that you can use your hands. Get out of here, Bobby. If those kids could read, they'd be very upset. <laughs> Worst Google ever. Anyone know if Elixir of Defense can drop from chess? No. Yes. <laughs> HC Hardcore, that's the guild my rogue is in. The Soda Pooping Guild. Fun fact, I've been, uh, I've been watching Soda Pop for like 10 plus years, right? I see this dude walking around. I, I was like up at like 2, 3 a.m., you know, questing, leveling. Him and his uh, GF, uh, Vey. Just show up out of nowhere and take the escort quest at the tower. I'm like waiting there patiently, like, you know, for five minutes. I'm like, oh, hey. And as soon as they come around and I say hi, the escort quest appears and they just snag it. Good times, good times. First end game interaction with that man in 10 years. Thunderclap. Perry. Oh, Perry's, Perry's nice. Thunderclap's nice. Take, take them both. Turn on. Um, I learned... I didn't learn herbalism. I learned alchemy. Oh, okay. Back to back to <laughs> oh, back to Iron Forge. Do you think anyone would take me into a dungeon? I've seen a video of, uh, I just remembered, I saw a video of this Torin. he had like Chad in his name, and he like wasn't wearing a shirt or pants or something. He had some armor on, but he wasn't fully equipped. I think he didn't have a chest on and he had pants on. He died, spoiler, um, he was the tank as well. So I'll, I would have to hope that they would take a, uh, a warrior DPS without any gear besides a weapon. We have we have herbalism now. I mean, if a, if fully geared rets aren't gonna be able to find parties, how is a naked warrior gonna find a party? I don't know. We'll we'll get to that when we get to that. I've never I haven't even done a dungeon in hardcore yet. Not even on my rogue. It tells me I have to kill the bear. <laughs> I've never seen that. That's funny. Oh, that peace bloom is still here. That's one thing that'll humble you real quick is once you leave the starring area and seeing all the dead dead bodies, like they're everywhere. I guess we can head towards the Wendigo area. Um, 
I don't really want to fight Wendigos right now, I don't think. But well, we can just hang out around this area, see what's going on. See how high level uh, the Wendigos are. We could probably handle some Wendigos. I don't really want to go in there. You know what? Let's do it. Let's see we do it. Lacking some hair on our chest extremely. We need to go get some. We need to go find some. This is super dangerous what I'm doing right now. Uh, I don't know if this is a good idea. What are all these dead bodies? Oh, we got our first one. Not too bad. So we handled that pretty well. I'd love to help, but uh, not my monkeys, not my circus, man. I don't think I'm willing to, I can die for someone named Jerkwad. <laughs> not yet. All right, that was exciting. Yeti's dropped some cool stuff, so that may be a thing we farm later. So oh, we can get silver leaf though, and a peace bloom. You spoil me. My other dwarf died from a uh, tunnel visioning on a silver leaf, and then getting ambushed by some trogs. I gotta be extra careful here. Not pulling extra mobs. I'll risk it. I'll risk it. We're going for it. Silverleaf. Temptation is this. That's all I see. This is temptation. Like, look at all this armor that's dropping. Look at all this. All these herbs that are next to hostile, aggressive mobs. But we're smarter than that. We've learned. We've died a couple times. Whoa. Jump scare. Holy crap. I was just about to pull that boar. That would have been bad. Good thing I have ambient sound on. <laughs> I heard him growl from a mile away. Oh, that was scary. White leopard jump scare. Why are you point blank charging me? That's messed up. That's the thing about boars that really gets us. They just, they charge at you if you're far away, but I guess they'll also do it if you charge at them. Fair, not fair. I'm the only, I'm the only one that's supposed to be able to charge. Let's see if we get in front while we do it. Oh, he didn't do it. Secret tech. If you charge behind boars, they'll charge you. But if you go in front of them, they won't. Whoa. Huge, huge two silver leaf spawns right behind me. I'm a true believer of uh, karma in, hard in hardcore. Every time I've done something nice, something nice has been returned to me. I haven't really done anything nice, I guess, yet. But it's being nice to me. <laughs> I really like leveling around the outskirts, killing stuff around this area. There's a lot less people. That's a level 8 boar. Oh, uh, I say we... I don't have any potions. I say we try it. What can go wrong? Too far away. This boar's crazy. Okay, there we go. Hey, not a huge fan of that. Like, one big crit and I'm dead. Like, if he charge crit me there... Or just charges me in general. I'm basically dead. Not a big fan of that. Not a big fan of that. I gotta say, that was scary. Not a rogue. I just remembered there's a quest over here I need to grab, or an item right there. Silver leaf, nice. We're finding more silver leaf than we are. Well, about the same, actually. Good old meat man had 25 of those. Just wanted that one extra one, huh? Just couldn't couldn't be happy with 25. Nope. All right, let's kill some, uh, let's kill some Wendigos. Right, row Raggy. Oh, this is a bad situation. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. All right, let's go snag this item over here. We're almost done with the boars. Wow. Boars are, like, take forever. I think I got a pretty good drop rate on those. I still don't have a bag either. That's insane. This is the longest I've gone without a bag. Ooh, silver. Silver leaf. Let me grab that first. Oh my gosh. Peace bloom, silver leaf, peace bloom, silver leaf. We could probably go grab that earth root now. I think it's 15. Oh, we're going to be making crazy potions, fellas. I just got to not tunnel vision on them and <laughs> die again. It's just so exciting to see in a node. Just like, I, that's, that's mine. I want that. I'm going to go get it. You don't see the five aggressive mobs to your right. Earthroot's still there? It is. Is this fellow going to get it? Is he getting the node or is he getting the Earthroot? I think he's getting the node. He sees that juicy ore. Man, I've been following this guy around like the whole time. It's rough out here for warriors, man. The add-on tells you death statistics. You know, war for each class. Only 27 recorded shamans. We're going to change that. We're going to make that 28. The average death level. Wow, Paladin is lower than Warrior now. They're kind of evening out now that more and more people are playing and more and more things are being recorded. 12.7 is the, s the second lowest. 0.1 above Paladin, apparently. Warrior is the most played right above Rogue. Yeah, Warrior is, uh, I think it's a consensus as the hardest class to play in hardcore. We really need another bag. This is getting bad.
Oh, oh no. I got you. See, everyone's looking out for each other. That dude was super dead, I think. I do like the idea of lower levels should be just be fed to the wolves. If you can't survive, you're not meant to survive. But I mean, it's a it's a community thing, you know. Oh, we're so close. Fourteen XP. Where's that other turn in I have at? Oh, it's over there. Uh. Oh, Bash Pro Hat died. No. We were just over there. We just waved at him. Oh, that was our dude. Oh, that stings, man. We like ran through Iron Forge together and gathered nodes near each other. Damn. Goes to show you, man. Your life can end in an instant. Someone you knew could be someone that you don't know anymore. Nice. There he is. So young, so happy, still smiling even in death, so free. We were one of the same. We had the same weapon. Oh. I won't forget you, Bash Pro Hat. <laughs>
at least a bag. Maybe they drop greens. I know ice bears drop green weapons. They drop an a a, a two-handed axe, a sword. They drop a two-handed axe, a two-handed sword, and a one-handed sword. Looks like the two-handed sword is the most DPS. And they drop bags. So we should probably... And they drop linen. I haven't gotten a single linen from these dudes. We should kill them, I guess. They drop a lot of things that we need. We're about two hours dry without a bag. That is insane. Oh my gosh! Oh! Whoa! I've never seen so many nodes spawn so close together before. Oh, that's f insane. We really need a bag. Green weapon or bag. Green weapon or bag. Green weapon or bag. Or linen. Linen should be dropping a lot more frequently. I don't know how I haven't seen any yet. And if you get XP for gathering, I would be like at least level 10 by now. I don't... <laughs> I Two reasons. One, these herbs are like this, this crazy. It's crazy out here. Turd monkey. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I don't think I'll be going any deeper in here. If I had armor and stuff, I'd feel a little more confident. Oh. Oh, I got you. I don't want to push it any further with all those dead bodies. Yeah, that room is just. Oh, we need we need more kills. We need to farm. Oh gosh, our health. I didn't realize our health was so low. Jeez Louise. Yeah, it's too many dead bodies for me to feel confident here, and we're too deep in. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about right here. Now we're kind of trapped until someone comes over here. All right. Take this one. Not pulling anyone else. Oh, gosh. <laughs> we're trapped again. So is that hunter, though. Turd monkey died! Man. Everyone's dropping in this cave like crazy. Where did Turd Monkey die? We cannot take on two of these at once. I don't have any potions. I don't have any any way to heal. This is sketchy. This is real sketchy. Oh my gosh, please die. I wonder how the hunter's doing back there. And yeah, no one's in here anymore. Everyone saw the dead bodies and decided, nope, not worth it. Dude, where is everybody? We might have to make a run for it. We're all alone in this cave. Oh boy. Yeah, we gotta run for it. Oh my gosh. Oh, jeez Louise. Oh, I don't know how I'm alive. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh boy. Oh, oh my gosh. How many of them were on us? Four or five? I'm so used to like these caves being full of people, man. There's nobody here. That was, that was intense. That was scary. Everything could have came crumbling down just right there. I was not expecting to be left alone in that cave, man. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> oh, that was intense. Oh, that was so scary. Like, I know I'm only level 7 and whatever, but still, like, I, I care about this character. What we're doing here, this challenge, means a lot to me. Level 1, level 7, level 50, I, I don't care. I wanted to get to level 10 for this first part, but I, I need a reset after that. He did die, dude. <laughs> oh no. The hunter that was in there died. His last words were lol. 4205. Let's see exactly where he died. 4205 4561. Oh, he was deep in there. 
He was like at the very end, probably in that big room. Yeah, that, that's the reason I didn't go in there, man. Rip. Everyone I'm around dies. That is insane. I think I think my character is cursed. I think I'm actually cursed. Zero bags, mostly getting armor. Everyone I acknowledge and remember the name of dies. <laughs> or I'm around, I'm around that I remember the name of. Jeez Louise. We were almost dead ourselves. That could have been us. They could have said WTS clothes on there. I'd call that a successful day. We got to level seven. We got a bunch of herbs. We're gonna make crazy potions. We are doing okay. We're gonna come back with a bunch of potions and we're gonna kill some more Wendigos. We're not gonna go that deep in the cave again. We've learned our lesson. That was really scary. Really, really scary. I think for now, a good goal is to see our first hardcore dungeon. I'm very excited for what the series can bring for us. I am. I, I like hardcore so much. It's so much fun. It's so it's so tense. It just fits what I'm looking for very well, and I've always wanted to try vanilla. I love seeing everyone run around in different gear with different experiences and different stories while trying not to die. It's just it's just a great experience, I think. With that being said, we're signing out today. We'll see you again in the next one. I'll see you guys later.